Frank. It's all yours. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Can I start by recognising the traditional owners of the land on which we stand and their elders, past and present? My job today is to introduce the Leader of the Opposition, Bill Shorten. But before I do, I've got a few apologies I have to give. The first is Christopher Pine. Christopher says he's busy. He's reading all the comments that have been made on his petition. And I, I hope he reads this one from James that says, Christopher, you're pathetic and this petition is pointless. <laughs> Well, we never know. Malcolm Turnbull's an apology as well. He really doesn't want to be here. And Tony Abbott is an apology as well. There's no way in the world he'd be here. Because it's no secret that there are a lot of Liberal and National MPs up there in that building who don't like the ABC very much. But the problem for them is that most Australians do. The ABC is the most loved, trusted and respected public institution in this country. The people of Australia love the ABC and they don't like this government. And Tony Abbott and Malcolm Turnbull and the rest of them ignore that at their peril. So we've got a message for them today. The Labor Party will fight you on this, and the Labor Party will fight to protect and support the ABC. And from this day until the election, we'll remind all Australians that this is a Prime Minister who can't be trusted. Now remember, only a few years ago, this is a Prime Minister who said this. It's an absolute principle of democracy that governments should not and must not say one thing before an election and do the opposite afterwards. The night before the election, the Prime Minister looked the people of Australia in the eye and he lied. You know what he said. No cuts to health, no cuts to education, no changes to the pension, no changes to the GST, and no cuts, the ABC or SBS. He lied to the Australian people. He looked them in the eye and he lied. It was a bold-faced lie and they're still lying to the people of Australia now. In question time yesterday, they're still denying that they're breaking any promises. Australians hate people lying. There's one thing they hate even more than that. And it's people lying about lying. And that's what's happening now. Now, by contrast, I've got the privilege to introduce a man who believes in the ABC and who leads a party that believes in the ABC, but more than that, supports the ABC. When we were last in government, we were responsible for the biggest investment in the ABC in 25 years, creating everything from ABC3 for kids to ABC Online, iView and ABC24. And this is a man who will take the fight up to Tony Abbott and who believes like you do. No ifs, no buts, no ABC cuts. Please welcome Bill Shorten. <laughs> 